Friday morning, it's early, uh, March the 9th, 2018. What happened in the skies off the Washington coast? NASA says fireball that shook Washington coast was about the size of a minivan. Can you believe that? Let's, uh, let me share this with you. It was a pretty good sized ball of fire with a huge tail behind it that we saw in, in the sky for probably six, seven seconds. Enough for me to grab uh, the guy who I was with next to me and say, look at that. Emergency departments in Grays Harbor County flooded with calls about a light in the sky. And theories about what the boom was flooded social media. A flock of seagulls diving into the ocean, Megatron returning to Earth, aliens, or maybe even Superman. Great guesses, but today we're learning NASA scientists say it was a meteor. Really large meteors are called uh, fireballs. Really large fireballs are called bolides. This was a bolide. It came from the asteroid belt and entered the atmosphere around 810 last night. At about the size of a minivan, instruments as far away as Manitoba, Canada picked up the meteor. It's really dramatic in the radar imagery to the point that this is probably the biggest meteorite fall I've seen in continental U.S. in the past 20 years. It landed about 14 miles off the coast of Washington. Take a look at the fall zone. Bolides are made up of ice and dirt and mostly disintegrate in the atmosphere. Dr. Freeze thinks pieces about the size of bricks hit the Pacific and then were followed by thousands of smaller pieces. Any ships in the area could have seen some debris. And since it was moving about 14 kilometers a second, it came in with a sonic boom. That's much, much uh, faster than uh, you know, any, any supersonic plane or rifle bullet or anything. And it even registered on the Pacific Seismic Network. Bolides fall on average of once a day around the world, with most being smaller than the one we saw last night. About 12 meteorite fragments are found every year. The National Weather Service says it would be hard to even know what you were looking for. It would be extremely lucky because the thing blew up into real yeah, small pieces, pieces okay. uh, to begin with. So, so if you found one, it would probably be more of like, what is this rock doing here in the middle of nothing? In 2013, a meteor the size of a six-story building burned up over the Russian sky. It was found in a lake with the final size about as big as a car engine. Dr. Freeze says what the Pacific Northwest saw last night was special, but not one of a kind. So always keep up. So there you have it for 519 AM, Friday, March the 9th, 2018. A fireball, a sonic boom, a meteor the size of a minivan over the Washington coast. I'll put the link below.